Hello everybody and welcome back to Will A Wonderful World for episode 21. Now I know it's been like a fucking month since the last time I had one of these episodes out. I, I'm not gonna make excuses, blah blah blah, life's been getting in the way of it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm here at the video now. Hopefully, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be getting them out at a, a, a semi-normal clip. I've been, I've been getting some videos out lately, uh, one-offs mainly. Uh, at, a, at a decent clip, so hopefully, hopefully I can do that with this series. But without further ado, just because it's been a fucking month, let's see what the fuck is going on. Alright, we got another letter for Alicia here. A boy with a baseball cap, alright. And one for Cheng Yong Min. Are these... Relate, or whatever the fuck. How, connected, related, I don't... It's just an ethereal connection, I guess. Not really, um, factual-wise. This is... Locked. Why is that locked? Oh, it's it's connected with her most recent. I, okay, because those were just unlocked. I probably should have done those before I opened this letter. Then, oh well. Well, <laughs> I think the only only other choice I oh no, I do have a letter for Lee Wen. You know what? I'm gonna do Lee, Lee Wen's letter because I know I did a Alicia letter in the last video. Three years after school. Oh. This. I know time's a bit weird for gods, but three years have gone by? Holy shit. Three years have gone by since I graduated from high school. College wasn't what I expected it to be. In my imagination, college was supposed to be a place where ambitious and hopeful young people could better themselves before they entered the real world. In reality, it was more like an amusement park. Most people never thought about their future. The professors barely cared whether anybody was even listening to their lectures. Rather than teaching the students, they usually cared more about how much funding they could get for their own private projects. Even the library didn't have many good books. Instead, it was more of a hot spot for young couples to go make out. I no longer even went to campus anymore. Might as well not even study at home. My friends were all super cool. Every few days, they would host a party at my place. We did karaoke, cooked hot pot, and called for fried chicken deliveries. I've never heard of a fried chicken place doing deliveries. That's pretty cool, though. Hmm, interesting. I guess that that's what you get for living in an Asian country. I don't know. <laughs> that's Okay, wow, that sounds racist as fuck. I shouldn't have said that. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just... She's from an Asian country, and I... I, I live in America. I've never heard of fried chicken deliveries. I'm, I apologize if I offended anybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. My room was always full of the smell of cigarettes and beer. Why? Your roommate? A life like this had made me lose the concept of time. It also helped with alleviating my feelings of loneliness. I lay down on my couch and slowly fall asleep. These days, I'd have been sleeping on my couch more often than in my bed. Mr. Wen walked up to the couch and gently took my hand. Wait. What? I opened my eyes. I didn't go to campus today, either. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is she... staying with Mr. Wynn? Is that what I'm- is that what I'm taking here? What? After graduating from high school, I never saw Mr. Wynn again. Then why did... he grab your hand? What? I would often imagine that he would suddenly appear by my- oh, okay. By my side, just like the day of the art exhibition. You... Did you? I don't remember that happening. She was texting him because he wasn't there, so why would she just imagine he was there? I don't remember that, but if that happened, I apologize to all of my viewers because I don't remember that. And then again, it has been like a fucking month since the last time I played this game, so. He would even show up in my dreams sometimes, but he never did show up for real. Every time I asked Mr. Miss Yang about him, she would always stop herself before saying a word. I stopped asking after a while. I knew I'd probably never know where Mr. Wynn was, but I hoped that he was doing great. Because the early summer that we had spent together would always be the best season of my life. I, I don't know why that was hard for me to get out. Lee Wynn. Well, that's a pretty nice letter. What the fuck am I going to change around? It doesn't really seem like anything happened. Maybe I'm just going to change her past up. That's a bit odd. Oh. 
Okay, I I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking this right here is going to make an immediate difference. Okay, that's what I thought. Because now she actually sees him walk up. Which is weird. I climbed off of the couch and turned on the TV. What? Okay. I handed Mr. Wynn a can of beer and got myself one. Okay, cool. So he is actually there this time. The evening news was on. It was about the wedding ceremony of a tennis player that was incredibly pop popular for a while now. A few days ago, he had just announced that he was retiring from tennis. He also announced that he was getting married to his life or long-time female assistant, who used to be a tennis player too. I was quite shocked when I saw the name of his fiancée on the TV screen. Kin Suye. I, I hope I said that right. That couldn't just be a coincidence. Ever since I was old enough to remember, I had never seen my mother. Father had only mentioned her once. Your mom's getting married to a professional tennis player. Is that is that what I'm what I'm picking up? Am I picking up what you're putting down, or am I picking up what somebody else is putting down? But I had never ever forgotten her name. I had always thought that tennis was just a hobby from when my father was younger. He watched the games all the time, and he also had a yellow racket in storage. Under his influence, I started practicing tennis too, and the yellow racket was the first one I had ever used. Now that I thought about it, the only matches father had ever watched all had the same person in them. He wasn't watching the game. He was only watching mother. Oh wow. And that racket must have belonged to her too. I chugged the beer and looked to Mr. Wynn, who was supposed to be sitting at the table. What? Except, there was no one but me at the table. Ooh. I'm confused, but okay. The beer can I had handed over was just sitting there. The hot pot in front of me was filled with overcooked vegetables and meatballs. The trash can nearby was stuffed with my yellow tennis racket and several bags of fried chicken that I had not even taken a bite of. Dang, you just threw that shit out there? Bitter memories, I just got a... I hunched over the table and burst out crying. I just got an achievement for that. Well, that was a bad ending. Um, I, I don't know exactly how this is going to be good in any sort of way. Or, I don't know how we're supposed to get a good out of outcome out of this. Anyways. Uh, I'm actually not going to do a timer this time. I was thinking about putting a timer on. I was about to say that I forgot to turn it on. But you know what? I don't need one for this. This is the first episode after a month. I'm going to do this letter, the next two letters... And however the fuck long it takes, fuck it. I rubbed my eyes. It was Miss Yang, not him. I must have not been totally awake. I climbed off the couch, went into the kitchen, and helped Miss Yang with dinner. I'm so confused. How did Miss Yang come into this situation? I was a repeating senior student this year. Oh, did you not graduate high school? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because of a stomach ache, I had had to miss one of the exams during Gao Cao. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to give up on going to college altogether, but Miss Yang spent a long time convincing me to give it another try. Concerned about be me being alone again, Miss Yang had moved in next door to help take care of me. Well, that's kind that's actually pretty cool of her. I I've never heard of a teacher doing something like that. That's actually really cool. She was living in the apartment that Mr. Wen used to live in. After Gao Cao, Mr. Wen had vanished from my life entirely. I would often imagine that if I started to give up on myself, maybe he would come back into my life to stop me from ruining my life. I'd be willing to wait for one year, two years, three years, even longer, as long as he would come back. I'd been thinking about this so much that I even dreamt about it all the time. In the end, he was probably just a passerby in my life. Look, there's a tennis match. Miss Yang put the remote down. Dang, that really sucks, man. I, I... I don't, at least as far as I know, think I've had anybody in my life like that to where they're incredibly important to me and, like, our time together meant so much to me and it sucks to not have them in my life. But to them, I was just a passerby. I wasn't... I was just a person that they met and... May have been friends at one point, but now they've moved on, forgotten about me, whatever. I, like I said, as far as I know, I don't think that I've that I've met anybody or know anybody like that. 
But that's got to fucking suck. That's got to do with uh, Sonder, if that's the correct word, I think. Where it's a feeling of, I guess, existentialness. <laughs> Whenever you look at someone and you think about how they have their own individual lives. They have their own friends, their own emotions, their own worries, their own stress, their own job, their own families. And you're just another person that is insignificant. You don't even exist to them. Not, not that they don't care about you, whatever. It's just they don't know about you because they're just another person that you that they saw through a window or something like that just driving down the road. Okay, I'm going to stop getting um, existential here. I, I did just rub the mic and I apologize about that. It was the 4D gate open. One of the finalists was a Chinese player. Father used to like him a lot. He would always watch his matches. Not only, not only was he a tennis genius, he was also incredibly popular on the internet. He was young and handsome, came from a rich family, and had a professional team handling his business off the court. Besides the astronomical prize money from his matches, his sponsorships were even more lucrative. Every time he went on to a talk show with his beautiful female assistant, he would receive more than tens of thousands in payment. Lots of people were always posting about him online. They adored him like he was a pop idol. Miss Yang kept staring at the TV while pouring some soy sauce on her noodles. Since you like tennis so much, have you ever thought about going into a career that has something to do with it? As in, a tennis player? <laughs> My chopsticks stopped for a moment. Well, I guess you could also be a um, kinesthesiologist. I think is what it's called. Kinesiologist. One of the one of the two. Something to do with like sports medicine. So you could be like treating tennis elbow <laughs> and some other thing, other injuries related to tennis. I guess if you wanted to. Maybe. Huh. Well, that was a rank C ending. That's actually not that bad of an ending. I'm actually. Uh, I don't know. What else I could do? The only. Other th there's this. Com there's only so many combos with these three, so I'm gonna go this way. See if there's anything new here. Well, there is, but I'm gonna see if there's anything uh, worthwhile. If there's nothing too worthwhile, then I'm probably just gonna skip over this. But I may not. I had another dream. I climbed off of my couch. I changed into my exercise clothes, picked up my racket, and headed out. I was a repeating senior student this year. Because of a stomach ache, I'd I'd had to miss one of the exams during Gao Cao. I was going to give up on going to college altogether, but Miss Yang spent a long time convincing me to give it another try. Uh, okay, this seems the same. So far, let's see. Okay, this is new. The light over the tennis court was maintained by some of the residents themselves. The dim light bulb kept making a buzzing noise. One, two, three... I had just hit all 30 of the balls that I had, so I picked up the now empty basket. I walked to the other side of the court and collected the balls before hitting them all again. No one else was on the tennis court. All I could hear was the sound of the balls hitting my racket and of them bouncing off the ground, separated in life. I got an achievement because sh she's not with Mr. Wynn anymore? Interesting. Okay, another rank C ending. Well, I think there's only one more outcome right and that's uh, not that one this one I think that's the only other outcome mr. Wynn walked up didn't go to campus I opened my eyes oh no did I do that one already hang on I'm gonna look at my history here so we did didn't go to campus open my eyes mr. Wynn didn't go to campus mr. Wynn opened my eyes those are the two that I did already I thought I okay so I haven't done I opened my eyes and then I didn't go to campus, and Mr. Wynn walked up. But it's a bad ending. Did I do that already? Oh, I did get the X ending. Is there no... There isn't a... Oh my god. There isn't a good ending. I should have put two and two together. What? That's, like... Irking me. That, that's actually really deep. Um, wow, her life just isn't good after Mr. Wynn left and everything, I guess. Her life is just shit right now, but you know what? Everybody has their ups and downs. Lee Wynn, this letter may be a really shitty part of your life, but I, I, think, I think things are going to look up for you. 
Well, I guess that's it. Um. Oh, that kind of scared me for a second there. God, why do you keep toying with me? Why can't you just let me go? No, no. Oh, this is another nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. Another nightmare. What is going on with me? I think you're having some existential issues and you're starting to realize... Well, you already know you're a god, but I think you're starting to realize that there's something more going on in the background that uh, Willy isn't telling you about. <sighs> Let me go downstairs and get some air. Sounds like a good idea, but you can't go outside. Willie must still be asleep. Hmm? His door isn't locked. Ooh! Ooh! Are we finally getting to some meat in the game? Yes! Okay. Come to think of it, I've never even seen his room. Oh, yes! 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 This is awesome. Finally. Well, I'm coming in. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm so prepared. I'm ready to fucking see. Is this why he didn't want you to come in here? Because it's a dope-ass room? Is that why? Hmm, he's not here. This kind of looks like a room from, um, like, Life is Strange, like a college dorm. You know what? Maybe that there's something to that. Maybe there's something to that. Not the Life is Strange thing, but the, the college dorm style. I don't know. This room looks quite different from mine. Actually, it kind of looks the same, just less frilly? I don't... I, I, okay, that's all I'm going to say on that subject. I'm not going to... I'm not, not going to say anything that's going to get me in trouble with some people. This red thing is called a guitar, I think? Does he know how to play the That would be hilarious if that dog could play the guitar. Willie, are you holding out on us? I sat down in front of the desk. A picture inside a metal frame caught my attention. Hmm? This photo, is it a photo of me? Dun dun dun! There are two people and a dog in it. The person on the right looks a lot like myself, and that looks like Willie down below. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Oh. Willie before he became a god. So what is going on? We were humans at some point. I'm wearing like some sort of weird uh, dress, like a like a school outfit almost. It looks like I can't really tell to be honest. But what on earth? Who's the dude? Who have I been getting down with? And the dog, it looks just like Willy. Although it is a little smaller, because he wasn't a god dog at the same time. Or maybe, or he wasn't a god dog at that point, rather, I should have said that. But maybe whoever Willy is, isn't that dog. It's not the same dog. Maybe it's a malevolent god that took the form of that dog to be familiar in a way to my character. I don't remember my character's name or even if her name has been said. But I don't know. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. I can't see the face of the person on the left very well though. For some reason. Nevertheless, it looks like it's a boy. Oh. Are you assuming that person's gender? I'm kidding. I feel like I've seen him before. Because you probably have. I, I, Like I said, I feel like something is going on here. A malevolent god got a hold of you for some reason. I still haven't really seen anything horror-esque in this game. And they every time I launch this game up, it says that something spooky is going to happen. Basically, I mean, it says if there are any points where you get jump scared or anything spooky happens, feel free to scream. So, that leads me to believe something is going on. The end of this game is going to be some mindfuck horror event and I can't wait for it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I didn't want it to happen now. I did not want it to happen now. Shit, I'm not ready. As I was scouring my memories for the face of this boy, I felt like an electric shock had suddenly pierced my brain. Oh, I'm getting chills, guys. What the fuck is going on? Then everything turned white in front of my eyes. Look, Fluffy knows how to count. And the world is normal outside. This was my room, like, as a child? Fluffy was the dog? Aw, oh, Fluffy's a way better name than Willy. The die showed four, and he barked four times. Aw, he's so cute. Pfft, it's just counting. What's so special about that? Fluffy, go get my slippers. Woof, woof. <laughs> Aw, look how smart Fluffy is. Aw, oh, I'm not really a dog person, but dogs are still fucking cute. You're so lazy that you won't even get your own slippers. 
Fluffy, go get my snacks. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> what? Are you telling the dog to get your snacks? Do you have a hole in your head? <laughs> oh gosh. Fine, I'll go get them for you. Here. Here they are. <laughs> hmm, did you eat some? Who would want to eat your Osmanthus cake? I hate that stuff. It actually sounds pretty interesting. I, I looked it up the last time they uh, referenced it in this game. Then why are there only four pieces when there were five earlier? It must have been Fluffy then. See, there's even some dog hair. Don't you frame Fluffy. Fluffy wouldn't do it. And you know what I just noticed? I saw you touch your head just now. You always do that when you're lying. I'm on to you. Aw. What? Do you trust Fluffy more than me? <laughs> this is awesome. I love this encounter. So? I like Fluffy. As long as I have Fluffy, I don't care about you at all. <laughs> Idiot. Fluffy can't be with you forever. The dog's life is much shorter than ours. I, on the other hand, might actually be able to be by your side until the end. Aw. You're lying to me again. Fluffy, you're going to stay with me forever, right? Woof, woof, aw. <laughs> this whole encounter is just awesome. Wake up! Willy, what the fuck is going on? Fluffy, whatever, what the fuck is going on? Wake up. Why'd you fall asleep in my room? Uh, no sir, I think you fucking did something to my brain, or maybe my brain actually did short because it started to remember things from my real life, or something happened there. I don't know, I don't know. This is, this is all very weird. Also, I like how that poster says, smells fade, because he's a dog, you know. Hmm? Did I fall asleep? No, you fucking passed out. What happened to you? Are you not feeling well? I... Oh, I guess she started crying. I, I don't know why, but I, I suddenly want to bawl my heart out. I don't want to read those letters anymore. When I realized the humans have all been doomed to their horrible fates because of me, I, I just couldn't. Fine. I understand. Eh? Even though I couldn't say anything, Willie seems to know exactly what is bothering me. Because I'm telling you, he knows more than he's letting on. It's okay, don't cry. You've done a great job. I mean it. I'm the one who has been really been acting horrible. Are, what's about to happen? Okay, if, if shit's actually about to go down in this episode, I'm really confused. Because what if I did the other letters first, Alicia and Chang's letters? I mean, I guess it wouldn't make a difference. I would have just done their letters and then moved on to to Lee wins, but it just, I don't know, it seems weird that they would have given me the option to do that if this was what's about to happen, if, if what, if <laughs> what I think is about to happen is about to happen. But don't worry, you won't remember any of this soon. M I, ex uh, Willie, I, I don't, I don't think we should be friends anymore. Question mark? Oh, I'm getting freaked out, guys. Bye. What the fuck? This is like some Doki Doki Literature Club shit. Ugh, my head hurts. Where am I? The game just looped. What happened? You finally woke up. I've been waiting for so long. I was beginning to worry that you might never wake up. It's the fucking start. It's Doki Doki Literature Club all over again. What the shit? Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a talking dog. Or are you... Oh, I know shit now. My neighbor's dog, Fluffy. Ooh. My neighbor's dog, Fluffy? Good, it looks like she's forgotten everything. What are you talking about? No. I, I retain that memory. How did you come up with a lousy name like Fluffy? Besides, we don't even have a neighbor. But I still think he looks like a Fluffy. Because he is. Wait, what did he mean by no neighbor? Have you lost your memories? Lost my memories? I wonder how long he's been doing this. And why he's been doing this. Wait, did I fall down the stairs? And then hit my head? Huh? For some reason, I seem to remember about losing my mem memories before... She knows too much! We gotta kill her! <clears throat> well, maybe you're a little confused after hitting your head. 
People sometimes think that they remember some weird stuff after memory loss. Uh, no, you're just coming up with shit, Willy. Also, what's with the two fucking horns on your nose? Let me tell you my name first. My name is Will. Sometimes I go by Willy. Willy? Yes, Willy. Willy Wonka? <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. You don't need to know my name anyway. You may just refer to me as your master. That's a bit odd, don't you think? Master? Why is a dog my master? I'm not a dog. We are gods. He can read my mind. How'd you know what I was thinking just now? Yeah. Wait, did you just say that we're gods? As gods, it's our change. It's our job to change the fate of the humans who ask us for help. Humans encounter all kinds of nonsense in their lives, and sometimes they would pray to us, desperately hoping for some kind of miracles, as they call it. I could help them, or I could just toy with them for fun. Whatever I want to do is up to me. Wait, wait, wait. Stop babbling so fast. I don't understand what you're saying at all. I'm not babbling. You're just too slow. Never mind. You don't need to know too much about this, either. All you need to be concerned about is preparing snacks for me every day. Whoa. What? The room downstairs next to the staircase is mine. Remember to put the snacks on the desk every time you bring them in. If I'm asleep, unless there's something extremely important, do not wake me up. What do you mean by extremely important? If I forget to make the snacks, should I wake you? Well, don't bother me for something like that, obviously. Then again, why would you want to wake me up if there were no snacks? <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Well, let me think. For instance, if it stops snowing, then you should wake me up. Well, it's not snowing anymore. That might never happen, though. I mean, there's snow on the windows, but it's not snowing. Okay, got it. Well, you just stopped. You just woke up after having passed out, so you should get more rest. Just stay in bed today. I need to get to work now. This is so weird, man. Wait, I still don't know what my own name is. Yeah. Why did he leave in such a hurry? Hmm. I really can't remember much else. How did I lose my memories? Uh, he fucking erased them. Oh well, I'll take over from here. Huh, she's quite compulsive. She's given every letter an S ending. That's because I didn't have a choice. Sir? However, are these S endings really the perfect endings? I doubt it because some of the S endings didn't really seem right to me. Do so-called perfect endings even exist in this world? No, I mean, Lee wins... Uh, letter is an X. That, that That's not a perfect ending. Also, the music's different. That's pretty cool. Like here. It looks like getting a good grade is a decent ending. However, Li Wen would never hear from Wen Xiaoren again afterwards. I guess that's true. I'm afraid Wen Xiaoren has... Can there be an other possibilities between her and Miss Yang? Humans are so annoying. Maybe I should try some other possibilities. In the future, I will enter the end sel ending selection mode by clicking the brown button on the right that has many branches. Then I may switch between my previous decisions at will. Interesting. So it... Oh, God. How long is this game going to be? Holy shit. Maybe I could discover some new possibilities that way. Especially when the letters from the same person are somehow not in a straight line. I should pay extra attention in these cases. However, not all of the new possibilities could be discovered so easily. Some of them might be hidden really well. So, if it's a straight line, that means there's no branching paths, I'm assuming. I'm hoping and assuming. If it cuts off to the side, then there are branching paths? I guess that should hopefully help narrow it down. I'm hoping that's how it's going to be, to help me out as a YouTuber, so I don't have to make so many vi videos and bore you guys to death. Some of them... Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Some imagination might be necessary to uncover these hidden secrets. So he's basically telling me to go back and try this letter. So if I go... Oh, so this one doesn't even exist then. But but she never hears from Wen Zhao Ren again, so that's... That, I think. Maybe I need to find some um, other endings here. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to go back. 
Give me a second. Okay, guys, I'll be right back once I figure out some more endings here for these guys. Okay, so, okay. Uh, got a new ending here. At least it seems new because these things are blinking, and I think that indicates that it's a new ending. Um, we've got this here. The room felt stuffy. Lee Wen looked a little nervous, and then a note had been left on my desk. Uh, somebody coughed loudly for Lee Wen. Jimmy was really going at it, and then she left the note. So, like I said, I think this is a new... Okay, yes, it is a new ending for both of them. Okay, cool. Let's see what changes. Okay, I don't know. Just when my mind came back from wandering, the ending bell for the exam had just rung. Everything had gone well. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. Now, wait a second. I'm Willy right now. I guess that just means because I'm going to be... I have to pick other endings other than the S-rank endings. I'm playing as a different person. I don't know. I don't know. After school, I came to the tutoring room as Lee Wynn had asked. I knew many stu senior students were going through a lot of pressure right now, but there were probably less than 10 students who'd be willing to talk to their teachers about it. Nevertheless, I was thrilled that Lee Wynn had come looking for me. We were chatting casually about today's test when she suddenly started crying. She was sobbing when she told me that she had cheated during the exam today. What surprised me most was her reason. I was at a loss. Once upon a time, I might have had the same honesty and courage as she had, but at some point I turned into this, into this middle-aged woman who would be gossiping about other people in the office. I knew it was just a waste of time. I knew those fake compliments we kept telling each other meant absolutely nothing. But I had still locked myself into this mundane life, day after day after day. That day, Lee Wen and I talked so much, like we were truly best friends. So, this, so far, this seems like a really good ending. This doesn't seem bad, but I already got the S rank ending. Oh, well, maybe it's like a um, an A or a B or something like that. I don't know. About cheating, about Gal Cal, and about W. Sorry. W. Oh, why? I broke my promise. Oh, what? What promise did you break? The thought that had never occurred to me appeared in my head. Should I just copy it? But I'd never cheated in my entire life. But if I didn't, I would have to stay in detention for extra study sessions after school. I didn't want to stay. I just wanted to go back home as soon as I could. I took a peek at Miss Yang. She seemed to be lost in her own thoughts. I made up my mind and decided to copy Jimmy's answers. I never knew that Jimmy was such a genius. No one ever paid much attention to him. The time for the exam soon ran out. I took out another exercise book for after the exam, but my mind wasn't in it. I left a note. After school, Miss Yang came into the tutoring room as expected. I confessed to her about everything involved in cheating on the exam. She crossed her arms in front of her and stared into my eyes. Why'd you do it? Because I couldn't solve any of the problems. She kept staring at me with an even more intense look. It wasn't a hard exam, at least not for you. I... I couldn't focus, and I have somewhere that I have to be tonight, so I was worried about having to stay for study sessions. I couldn't think of any convincing lies right on the spot, so I told Miss Yang the truth about everything. About why I couldn't solve the problems. About why I was unwilling to stay after school. Even the truth about... him. I fell into silence when I finished. I grabbed onto my skirt tightly and lowered my head. I, I couldn't look Miss Yang in the eyes. Aren't you neighbors? You should be able to see him anytime you want, right? I... I just have a feeling that I have to... I must see him, see him as soon as I can. Otherwise, I might... I had no idea what I was talking about. But Miss Yang laughed. She was laughing, but tears were coming out of her eyes. Kids these days... Uh, I'm really envious of you. You know what? I guess you could call it a sixth sense. Mr. Wynn, he's got cancer. Miss Yang wiped away her tears. Oh, I guess that was the promise that she broke. He didn't want anybody to know about it, I guess. Stomach cancer. Late stage. 
rank E for her and bad for her. Uh, okay. Well, that's a different ending. Oh! Okay. The story in the rainbow. Adventure of a big brother. I can't even do this one. It's... Oh, this one's locked because of this one, I think. And then this one's got something to do with the... No what the fuck? Okay, wait, whoa! Whoa, a whole lot of shit just disappeared off my... Okay, well, it's not gone there. Oh, it's because I... <laughs> I had it selected. All of these were faded out. Okay, that was weird. So this is a completely new character that's locked up right now. This one's locked up. Oh, this is the letter with Carlos. Okay, so I've got to change things again there. But you know what? I'm going to put that off until the next video. So, wow, we made some fucking progress in this video. We, we, we found out so many things. This was like the most awesome episode, in my opinion, to come back to. To come back to this series after a month. Holy shit, I'm... I'm even more pumped to fucking figure out what's going on because now he made her a servant. She's not just another god with him or whatever's going on there. And we know for a fact now that he's erasing her memories and he erased them to begin with. And he's either was that dog Fluffy or he took on the form of Fluffy to seem just somewhat more familiar to my character. That's very fucking weird. It's very amazing. I already already starting to get creeps, but not really spooked out. I'm just waiting because I, I feel like there's going to be a jump scare or something going on, but I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that like button down below. It helps me out, lets me know if people are liking the content that I'm bringing out to you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye!